I wanted to show you one more cool thing about uh, the confidence and sample size calculator that you could actually use this on uh, that last lab. Uh, I think it's numbers four and five where they ask us, they said, give and interpret the 95% confidence intervals for males and females on the height variable, which is wider and why. Then they ask us in the following question to do the same thing for the 99% confidence interval. Let's go back and look at my data for this. If you will remember, we separated the data into female and male data. We got the mean and the standard deviation. I'm going to go in here and maybe round these all. Format cells, round them to two decimal places. If you click on something and hold down your control key, you can go over here and say, I want to round those. Say, format those three cells. I want them to be a number to two decimal places. Let's do that. So we have the mean of uh, the female, was it heights, and the mean of the male heights, uh, standard deviation for both. And let's, let's uh, I'm going to come down here below and type sample size. Remember, uh, how many did we have? We had 19 females in, in my example case. And males, I think we had 16. So we have the mean, the standard deviation, and the sample size for the females, the mean, the standard deviation, and sample size for the males. Now, we can take that over to the calculator. Remember, the confidence and sample size calculator uh, has tabs down at the bottom. We want to, and if you need to look at all the tabs, you can arrow through them, but we want to go to the confidence interval for T. And let's look at the females first. What was it? We had 19. The mean was a 66.47 in my example case. The um, standard deviation was 2.27. Now, so this gives it to us here. Right here is my 95% uh, confidence interval. And here is my 99% confidence interval. So I have them both. I got the 95 for females and the 99. Let's do the males. For the males, I, I would put in the sample size 16. My males had an average height of 67.69. The standard deviation was 5.30 in my case. So here would be, and the yellow would be the 95%. Now I made that yellow. Yours is not yellow. You just look to the right of 95% out here. To the right of 99% is the 99%. Uh, confidence interval. So that's another way to do it, perhaps easier. You got to get your sample size right. You still have to get your uh, mean and standard deviation for the females and the males, but remember you did that in week two. Also, in discussing which is wider, in my case, it's not because the males are taller that the distribution is wider for the males. My standard deviation for the males was 5.3 and that's going to make that wider than the female uh, confidence interval because the female's standard deviation was 2.7 or 2. Point, whatever it was, but the the Standard deviation is going to spread that thing out there, too. And also, the male sample size was smaller, which is going to spread it out some. But um, 
I just thought I would show you this because it is a little easier than what I had originally shown you.